guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have three different peel off base that I'm gonna put to the test against each other. Now, I wanna put a disclaimer, it really depends on how you apply it. So if you apply it really crappy, then you're gonna have crappy results. If you're not even and you're missing a spot, your gel's gonna stick. So I'm using gel polish for that. Um, not builder gel. I have had a couple times where I've done builder gel and I've missed the spot and it attaches. It's not fun. So, but I wanted to put that disclaimer out there before I get into this, but let's, let's apply it. Okay. I'm going to do it on these three. So Halo Taco, the UNT, which I get from Amazon, and then the Madam Glam. I just recently got this. I have not tried it, so I figure why not uh, get to it. Um, this one I got off Amazon. I have used many times. It works great. This one I have also used many a times. I'm trying to see if I can show you. These are both really good, but I'm really excited to try Madam Glam. So... Let's do hollow taco first, which a little trick is to unload your brush. So I'm applying it on the tip and then sweeping the brush kind of under. That way you are getting over the edge, push back, pull down. Okay, and I like to go right into those cuticles along with coming down those sides. For me, those sides are what will get me in trouble. And then you can see I have a little bit of spillage, so I'm just taking my nail and cleaning that up. Granted, you won't see most of that when it's dry, but it's always good to clean up that spillage. Next, we're going to do the UNT. Again, I get this from Amazon. I'm not quite sure where I got the Hollow Taco. Maybe direct. Um, but I'll link it below, obviously. So once you unloaded the brush, you did the sides. Coming down. And this, the reason I'm doing kind of like a, a versus is because this stuff has been so amazing for me when doing gel polish nail tutorials because what you find is you want to put out a ton of content, but at the very beginning of my YouTube channel, I was constantly filing, going back and forth, and I did a ton a ton of damage to my nail um, because you know you're filing off a perfectly good set there's no growth so you're just hoping for the best and I then found a soak off base and let me tell you that made a huge difference don't get me wrong I still do sets where I have to file off and it takes quite a bit like some of my longer nails I have to file off and those can be very long but just make sure you cap it just like any other type of natural drying um, polish you want to make sure that you are capping them so this is them drying and I'm going to let these fully dry and then we will be right back so it's funny, I was sitting here waiting for this to dry. I'm like, man, this is still not dry. Um, it is telling you that you need to cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. So I am curious. I just wiped it off to see how this is going to be because the other ones are just like air dry. So essentially it's like a, just a normal polish that you peel up. So. I'm going to test this out because I've never seen a peel off base that you have to cure. Since we're almost in spring, even though I think it's like March, I should probably do green, but I'm 
I want hot pink. So this is I Love New York from Madame Glam. So these are them up close. So this is the Hello Taco, the UNT, the Madame Glam, which you can see is glossy. And then that is just naked. So let's put some gel polish on and see how they work. Oh my God, I'm so ready for bright nails. All right, so that is what we are working with. I'm gonna do another layer and then I'm gonna top coat it. I'm gonna take the Madame Glam soap, soak off top coat and just applying this all over the nail. I haven't gotten into my new bottle yet. I try to savor every last bit. Alright, wiping off the tacky layer and then this is what I am left with. Clearly beautiful. I mean this color is just everything. But the great thing about peel off base coats is that you can peel them off in theory. I know for sure these two are going to peel off. I'm not sure about that Madame Glam. I've just never had a curable peel off base coat. So I'm, we'll see, we'll get there. So you can do this two ways. Now, I, I'm i indifferent because I have done this. I've done this with both this guy and this guy. You could, does not have to be from Navy. They can literally be from anywhere. Um, just like a sharper pointed one here or just like that cuticle pusher. Um, you can use an orange wood stick. But I have taken these sharper items and I have actually gotten under the gel. So if you don't have like fully built up nails and you just kind of have like a shallow overlay, if you're coming in and trying to scrape it, if you go this way, you could actually end up getting under your gel and literally ripping it off. Ask me how I know. Ask me how I know and I still continue to do that and I still know. Yes, it hurts really bad. A lot of times it'll be right here where I'm like, oh, there's a spot, let me just peel it off. And ouch, that's all I'm gonna say is ouch. Also, a lot of people use cuticle oil. So I'm gonna use a cuticle stick, which is just that orange wood stick and some cuticle oil. I'm gonna just apply a good amount, come underneath. This is gonna be so good for my nails because they are so dry. I was at the beach this weekend. So this is the hollow taco. So you're just kind of taking that stick looking for the edge. And there is that edge. And boom, hollow taco, 10 out of 10. And then find that edge. This is the UNT. Okay. 
see if we can get it down to do one up. Having to peel that off didn't come off in one sheet, but it was all fully done. Yeah, I mean, that got everything. But it did not come off in one, so I'm gonna go 9 out of 10 because this literally was one one piece and then but like I said there's so many different factors that can play into it but I digress okay oh I just really hope this is not my gel let me just kind of peek under there Nope, okay. It is not my gel that's coming up that I can tell. Because like I said, that sucker hurts. Add some more cuticle oil. Now, the good thing about a curing one is it will be on a lot harder, so you won't have to worry about it coming off. So that could, or is that my gel? Hang on, that might be my gel. Nope, that is my gel. Not sure if you can see that heavy wall there. Okay. I'm gonna try it from the tip. What I was gonna say is if it was working is that it would be a lot harder to get off, meaning you could probably wear it for a little bit. But I, yeah, I don't think that worked. Let's dry off. Okay, so remember, remember how I opened up with before you peel it off, you could end up peeling off your gel if you don't have it thick enough. Well, obviously when you have it tapered, it's not gonna be as thick. And you can see I took that gel off completely and now I have some lifting, so I will definitely have to do a ton more prep before I fill these bad boys in. But I thought this would be a good um, time to test these peel-offs because I was gonna do a fill and I was like, well, it would be pretty, pretty good. So for that, that's gonna be a zero out of 10 because it didn't work. I don't recommend that for a peel-off base, but these guys, 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, you can get this on Amazon. I feel like I got this direct, but I will, if I find it on Amazon, I'll link it, but I'm like 90% sure I got this direct. Mitigate some of the flaking. You can always do another layer, keep that in mind. So this was good in one layer on a buffed surface. So this was just buffed and it is still that builder gel. Um, but if you did this over glossy nails, like top coated nails, like even though I have powder all in them, you would probably want to do two or really buff that kind of surface so you can have it be thicker. So if you're doing a larger set of nails, meaning those are gonna be long, I don't know if I would go with this. I would probably go with this because this was harder to get off. I know that's kind of ironic, but if you're doing a gel polish, both are great. This is like, perfect. If you're doing an extension and you're building out with like builder gel or acrylic, this was harder to peel off, meaning it kind of broke apart a little bit, but I think this would be the better of the two if you're building an extension. So that way when you're filing, you don't just accidentally go like this and it comes right off, which 
I have done. So again, these were the three that I tested. If you guys have any more recommendations or want me to test them out, I will see if I can fit it into my schedule. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.